So we're going to be talking about twin twins today. Twin flames. <laughs> Who would have known? <laughs> anyway, hey guys, my name is Amber Toysella. I am a psychic medium and a divine feminine, and I'm here with another video about twin flames and my twin flame journey. And I post things about <laughs> my journey and the this is about me and my experiences that I'm sharing with you. I am in union with my divine masculine. So I'm, I'm sharing everything that I know here on my channel. And I'm actually creating a course with my masculine um, to help other people on this twin flame journey. So I'm excited about that. Um, so before I get into what I'm mainly going to talk about, I have a few things I want to share. So I am actually doing readings as well and mentoring sessions. Don't mind Mindo. Mindo. Sorry. <laughs> um, and he gets right back up there. Um, <laughs> I'm offering sessions for Twin Flame, Twin Flame mentoring and readings as well. I do my readings via Zoom or by phone. So they're live. You can check out my scheduling link down below in the description box. Also, I'm on Instagram where I go live on Sundays at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at Blossom and Rise to do free mini readings. Um, so if you're interested in that, go ahead and check me out and send me a DM. Um, sorry, send me a DM. I got a phone call <laughs> and, um, let me know. Okay. So what is the topic today that I'm talking about? What you clicked on the video for? You're wondering if your twin flame is still thinking about you and still loves you despite the fact that you may be in separation. And the answer to that is yes. <laughs> Yes, your twin flame still loves you and still constantly thinks about you regardless of their actions towards you. You want to know how I know? Hmm. Because <laughs> of this, the energetic connection that you have with your counterpart, okay? Remember, the twin flame journey is a spiritual connection. So you guys are never separated, even though it feels like it. Because, you know, if you're not talking to them, it's just like, oh, we're, we're not, you know, but you're still in, in unison, okay? Because it's energy. You may get like, signs are huge. They're paramount in this connection. So either you see their name, you see their birthday, you see something that reminds you of them. Or you pick up intuitive feelings, um, um, empathy or t uh, t telepathic messages or telepathic conversations that you may have with them, dreams that you may have with them. Note that because they're real. They are real. In fact, I was, um, I just spent a week with my divine masculine. He lives in Michigan. I'm in California. And I did a video. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can post like snippets of it or like even like a voice thing because he does not like social media he does not like his face being out there so in order for me to protect I, I want to protect his privacy you know like honestly it's just the right thing to do but I recorded us having a conversation about twin flames and I talked about us mirroring each other and I explained to him what that means it's like whenever you're going through stuff at the same time I'm going through something similar to you whether you're aware of it or not and he paused and he goes yeah I felt that Oh, he said, I felt that. So that was confirmation for me. Like he always gives me validation from past experiences, from things that we were, that were happening when we were not in communication with each other, when he was in and out of my life. You know what I mean? And it's, it's super validating. It's always validating to get validation. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't even looking for validation. I was just trying to like explain the concept of what twin flame was. Because he didn't have an idea. Like, he knows we're soulmates, but he doesn't know, like, the levels of it. <laughs> okay? So, um, if you guys, if this is your first time watching this video of mine or, like, any of my videos, I recommend that you check out my playlist right here. Because it shows you, like, all this stuff. <laughs> I talk about all my journey, okay, on Twin Flame Journeys. Now, a lot of people think that they're in a Twin Flame dynamic, and they're not. Okay. And I think that I will do my next video on that. So how do you determine if you're in a twin flame dynamic or not? I was talking with someone, I had a reading with someone and, and a while ago and I, this never happened to me before, but I was like, what you're saying is not healthy. Like this is not a healthy relationship. This is not a twin flame dynamic. Like your twin flame should never have a characteristic of narcissism. Like that's not, that's not a thing. Okay. Your twin flame is not going to try to manipulate you or get over on you. It's nothing like that. And if you're questioning 
if whether or not you're in a twin flame connection, then more than likely you're probably not. Because it's a knowing. You know. Your soul will know. It will recognize that individual as someone highly significant to you. Your counterpart. Okay? Remember that this journey is about your self-healing more than you being with your counterpart. Because you, that's the work that you need to do. They're a catalyst for your own self-healing. All right? So let me know where you are in your stage in your twin flame journey. And if you're interested in a reading with me or you're interested in a mentorship um, session with me, um, check out the link in the bio. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Blossom Rise. Drop it down below. You guys, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe because sharing is caring. Share the content because sharing is caring. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So I look forward to creating more content for you guys. Um, and yeah, of course, it's coming up. It's coming up. I'm so excited. I'm trying to get that done while I'm in quarantine. So we shall see. Got to think it, manifest it. Yes. All right, guys. I love you. Keep it real. Keep it trill. And I'll see you sooner or later. Bye for now.